They believe. For more on the Blazers and Warriors, we're going to bring in Mark Spears of the Undefeated. And look, Mark, if nobody else in the world thinks they can, Damian Lillard, pretty confident that his Blazers can take down the Warriors so much that he said they could do it in six games. Why does this series mean so much to, to Dame? Oh, we're officially in playoff basketball mode, which means you're going to be reminded of how the Warriors blew a 3-1 lead in the finals. Despite that historic collapse, Draymond Green claims to have no regrets about how the season ended. And with his team now touting a big four, he sat down with our Mark Stein to talk dwelling in the past with a firm focus. Pundits have pitted two of the league's best guards against each other in the MVP race. The playoffs will pit them against each other in round one. But it was their three seasons as teammates in OKC that solidified a real friendship between the Beard and Brody, one that Westbrook called a blessing and one that has endured despite the squabbles over individual hardware. One will dance to a phone ring. Like it doesn't matter what it is. He's lit. He's ready to go. And I hope he's ready to go because we're going to do kind of a different look at the NBA playoffs, really? right? What are we yeah, do? so Bracket Bay, Joe Lenardi joined us earlier in the show and he set up the top players in the NBA that are currently playing in the playoffs. And he did the seeding, Matt, because we did take some issue with some of his seeding, yep. based not only on the talent of the individual player, but their ability to move on in the playoffs. And you're going to pick who's the top Before player. Before he picks, though, I want to ask, who would you put as the one seed? Who would you put? Who would I put as one seed? As the one overall I don't know, seed. because I'm not in college. I was in the NBA, Matt. Oh! Okay. oh. Now Are we we're here. 16 now? Well, yeah, because no, it started eight. with 16. We're Elite Eight. Elite Eight. Yeah. Math elite is hard. Eight. You mm -hmm. go from 16 to 8. Uh, and then, you know, we go there. We go with Kevin Durant again All over right. Chris Paul, because there's a height difference there. It's a good one. Guards here. Guard. I was the three. He was a three? A one three. And you know I'm what San lead. Antonio has done time and time again? They have shocked the world. Oh. They have shocked the world. Come on, Kawhi. Why isn't it doing what it's, it's walk has Fan to be Fanfare. No, no. Wait, <sighs> look at this salty guy right here. Tom Havis, by the way, has Kawhi winning the MVP this year. I'm just shocked you took a San Antonio Wait, 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 wait. Can't but why are you so it. upset at me selecting him right now? I, was, I, was, I know I you was pretty more well. In, I was in awe of, of oh, you your were moment. In awe. Yeah. Oh, well, I like that. And you know how you threatened to hit me earlier? <laughs> Clearly, this bromance, there's like a whole lot more to this that you guys haven't seen on television. That's shocking. He's a good guy, America. Thank he you. is sometimes. Oh. Brody and the beard totally sold. It is a matchup rivaling that of your Sports Center host for the next hour, L. Duncan and Matt Berry. I'd be the beard because you can't grow one. Yep. Uh, the C team here for the next hour is the NBA's A players get ready to go one on one in the first round of the NBA playoffs. For more, I want to bring in our Thunder report. Brody got one perspective from that Rockets and Thunder matchup. Let's actually talk to Calvin Watkins, who is our Rockets ESPN reporter. And it would be a joke, Calvin, to ask you, what are they most concerned about in terms of the Thunder? It's Russell Westbrook. But what are they saying about how they're going to approach defending him.